what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more full metal alchemist brotherhood last episode we watch we watch a character that i was really really getting used to and um loving use um really enjoyed his character he brought that comic relief to the show you know with yet a, a sprinkling of seriousness um that family man he was the only person that well not the only person but he was the only grown person that was really portraying you know a sense of family in the show you know what i'm saying that ease to all the seriousness that's going around in the show with him always talking about his wife or his daughter how proud he is and stuff like that um and he was killed by these you know things don't know what to call them yet they haven't really come out and clear but we know that there's lust there's envy and there's um gluttony right so i'm wondering if the other deadly sins are a part of the group too or they're just you know they just took on those names just because but in any case um edward and alphonse has no idea that this is going on winry is with them they have no idea what's going on so let's jump into these episodes and see if they're going to find out um i don't think they're going to get word of this until they end up because they're currently on the train so i don't think they're going to end up hearing about this until they get to where they're going or until they come in contact with another soldier or something because i think this is probably going to be big news because everybody's on alert um of course mustang is broken by this because use was like his best friend right was trying to help him get to the top and all this good stuff anyways let's go watch this episode see you guys for the review Okay, so Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode, what, 11 and 12. Very good two episodes, man. Um, seeing the journey of Ed and Alphonse. Um, so, you know, at least I know now that he can't eat. Because I don't remember ever seeing him eat. I was kind of puzzled by, like, he doesn't, maybe he doesn't have a, it makes no sense when he doesn't have a body. So I was wondering if he still ate, that would make sense because that would just be stored up in the armor. Wouldn't really give him satisfaction, you know. So it would it would be like him being invisible but not having a physical body, which is not the case. It's just a soul in there. That's why I'm wondering if he has a sense of touch. So that's still, I, I think he does. I think he does have a sense of touch. Um... Because if he, he didn't, then, you know, I don't think he would be, there's certain things that he wouldn't be able to do or feel. So I think he does have a sense of touch. But anyways, moving on from that, I think the most interesting thing is their teacher. I love their teacher. Um, immediately, you know what I'm saying? I think it's one of the best voice acting I've seen in the show so far with her. Uh, you know, she loves these boys as you know as you know they never was able to have kids um and you know she took on these two boys and i'm pretty sure she you know they're like sons to her no doubt about it the way how she treats them you know it's just reminds me a lot of my mom you know so that kind of resonated with me a lot because you know, your parents never want to see you make mistakes that they made, especially if they didn't tell you that they made that mistake. I've been through uh, um, situations where I make a mistake, you know, and my mom is, is like, you know, when I was younger, I made the same mistake, blah, blah, blah. They didn't think that it was something they needed to discuss with their kids. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't expect you to go through maybe that same situation. Now, this is not to say that parents should tell their kids everything that they went through. You know what I'm saying? Because 
I, I my mom is more of old school more than anything else so it's just a different mentality it's just a different mentality um you know they're more of a you know reaction generation they're more of like kids make their mistakes and then I'll correct them so they're more reactionary more than anything else you know um so they, they'll tell you stuff to deter you from you know from going down that road to make that mistake but it won't tell you what that mistake is going to be a lot of times so um i i love this character because she means a lot to them and they mean a lot to her it's more than i think it's more of like a mother mother to son relationship more than a teacher student relationship because teacher student relationship is like mandatory when it comes on to parents so but it's you know but that can be split you can be teacher student and not be parent child right but if you're a parent child it just automatically makes you teacher student so in my opinion i like her i like her very much she's a baddie of course i don't know how old she is but she's old enough you know what i'm saying um but she looks really good on screen why the hell am i talking about her <laughs> like that i guess i just like the character i just like the character a lot um you know and i felt for her too because you know i mean in other words you know i'm pretty sure that many moms and you know husbands and wives out there that can't have kids that are going through these and paying these ridiculous money to find a way to have a child in vitro you know what i'm saying all of this all of these methods that are out there now through surrogacy adoption all this stuff just to have that feeling of having a child you know that really resonated with me that's why I, you know i tear I, you know a little bit of teary eyed there at the end because you know she understood why they tried you know she really did you know um so it was a pretty awesome couple of episodes man i really liked it i really liked it very much like them very much they still haven't found out about maze use um but it is, you know, eventually they'll find out and maybe they'll get back to the city to help out with whatever is going on over there because these got these dudes that are killing people they ain't playing around. I think eventually what's going to happen, I think maybe Scar, I think Scar is maybe he's going to team up with Ed at some point, maybe not on a buddy buddy thing but i think they probably gonna end up teaming up against those guys at some point or maybe fight together have a fight together at some point he's still a criminal in everybody's eyes you know um mind you for whatever reason that he's choosing to kill doesn't excuse the fact that you're killing right so um they didn't show any of that for these two episodes so we're still trucking along. We're still trucking along. So I really do appreciate you guys for coming over, checking out these reactions, man. I really do. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you're new. There's more full Alchemist Brotherhood to be shown here on the channel. Anyways, gratitude is never enough. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Peace.